A calazine is a small, usually painless lump that forms on the eyelid. It can occur on either the upper or lower eyelid and can range in size from a tiny dot to a larger lump about the size of a pea. A calazine usually forms due to a blocked oil gland. These oil glands, known as meibomian glands, are responsible for producing an oily substance that helps keep our eyes lubricated and prevents tears from evaporating too quickly. When one of these glands becomes clogged, the oil builds up inside, causing swelling and forming what we call a calazine. People often confuse calasia with styes, as both conditions involve lumps on the eyelid. However, there are important differences between the two. A sty is caused by an infection in the oil glands or hair follicles of the eyelid, often resulting in redness and pain. A calasian, on the other hand, is not usually caused by an infection, but rather by a blockage of the meibomian glands. Styes also tend to be painful, swollen, and sometimes filled with pus, whereas calasia are generally painless and firmer to the touch. Calasia also tend to grow more slowly than styes, and may persist for weeks if left untreated. Causes of a calasian The primary cause of a calasian is the blockage of a meibomian gland, but what leads to this blockage can differ from person to person. One common cause is the thickening of the oily substance produced by the glands. This thicker oil can more easily clog the gland openings, leading to a backup of oil and the formation of a calasian. Certain skin conditions can also increase the likelihood of developing calasia. People with rosacea or seborrheic dermatitis are more prone to developing calasia. These conditions can cause the meibomian glands to become inflamed or dysfunctional. Conditions like blepharitis can also increase the risk of developing calasia. Blepharitis causes the eyelids to become swollen and inflamed, which can lead to blockages in the oil glands. Poor eye hygiene can also contribute to the development of calasia. Not cleaning the eyelids regularly or failing to remove eye makeup before bed can lead to a buildup of debris and bacteria around the eyelashes and gland openings, increasing the risk of blockages. Hormonal changes can also play a role in the formation of calasia. Some people may notice an increase in calasia during puberty, menstruation, or pregnancy, likely due to hormonal fluctuations affecting oil production in the glands. Certain medical conditions, such as high cholesterol levels, can also make a person more susceptible to calasia. This is because excess cholesterol can accumulate in the meibomian glands, making the oil thicker and more likely to cause blockages. Symptoms of a calasian The symptoms of a calasian typically develop gradually over a few weeks. Initially, you might notice a small, painless swelling on your eyelid. As the calasian grows, it can become more noticeable and may cause some discomfort, though it usually remains painless unless it becomes infected. The most obvious symptom is the presence of a round, firm lump on the eyelid. This lump can vary in size, but it's often compared to a pea. The skin over the lump might appear slightly red or inflamed, but this isn't always the case. Unlike a sty, which usually forms at the edge of the eyelid, a calasian typically appears further back on the eyelid. You might experience a feeling of heaviness in the affected eyelid, especially as the calasian grows larger. Some people describe a sensation of pressure or mild discomfort, particularly when blinking. However, sharp pain is not a typical symptom of a calasian and could indicate a different condition or a complication. In some cases, a large calasian can press against the eyeball, causing temporary blurred vision or astigmatism. This is more likely to occur if the calasian is on the upper eyelid, as its weight can slightly distort the shape of the cornea. This vision change is usually temporary and resolves once the calasian goes away. You might notice increased tearing in the affected eye. This happens because the calasian can interfere with the normal distribution of tears across the eye surface. Some people also experience mild irritation or a gritty sensation in the eye. If a calasian becomes very large, it might make it difficult to fully open the eye. This can be particularly noticeable upon waking in the morning, as the eyelid might feel slightly stuck or harder to open than usual. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of a calasian. Diagnosing a calasian is generally straightforward. 
Most of the time, an eye doctor or primary care physician can diagnose a chalazion just by examining the eyelid. During the exam, the doctor will look for a characteristic lump and may ask about any other symptoms, such as pain or vision problems. They will also evaluate the overall health of your eyelids and eyes to rule out other conditions like styes or cysts. If there's any doubt, or if the lump has unusual characteristics, the doctor might recommend additional tests. For instance, they might use a special magnifying device called a slit lamp to get a more detailed view of the eyelid and eye structures. Home Remedies for a Chalazion In many cases, a chalazion will resolve on its own without the need for medical intervention. However, there are several treatments available to help speed up the healing process. Number 1. Warm Compresses Applying a warm, damp cloth to the eyelid for 10 to 15 minutes, 3 to 4 times a day, can help to soften the hardened oil in the gland and promote drainage. This is the most common and effective home treatment. Number 2. Eyelid Massage Gently massaging the area after applying a warm compress can also help the blocked gland to drain. Make sure your hands are clean before massaging to prevent introducing bacteria into the area. Number 3. Over-the-counter eye drops. Using artificial tears or over-the-counter eye drops can help reduce irritation and keep the eyes lubricated. Treatment for a chalazion. If home remedies aren't effective after a few weeks, or if the chalazion is large and causing significant discomfort or vision problems, you may need medical treatment. Some options include number 1. Steroid injections. In some cases, a doctor may inject a corticosteroid directly into the chalazion to reduce swelling and speed up healing. This is generally used for larger or persistent chalazia. Number 2. Incision and drainage. For chalazia that do not respond to other treatments, minor surgery may be needed to drain the fluid. This procedure is usually quick and performed under local anesthesia. The doctor will make a small incision in the chalazion to allow the fluid to drain out. Number 3. Antibiotics. While antibiotics are not typically required for chalazia, they may be prescribed if the chalazion becomes infected or if there is a secondary infection like cellulitis. Topical antibiotic ointments or drops are most commonly used in these cases. Throughout the treatment process, it's advisable to avoid wearing eye makeup and to refrain from trying to squeeze or pop the chalazion, as this can lead to further inflammation or infection. Prevention of a chalazion Prevention of chalazia focuses on maintaining good eyelid hygiene. Regular cleaning of your eyelids, especially if you're prone to chalazia or have oily skin, can help prevent the oil glands from becoming blocked. This can be done by gently washing your eyelids with mild soap and warm water or using over-the-counter eyelid cleansers. If you wear eye makeup, make sure to remove it completely before going to bed. It's also a good idea to replace your eye makeup regularly, as old makeup can harbor bacteria that might contribute to eyelid problems. For those who spend a lot of time looking at screens, taking regular breaks can help. When we concentrate on screens, we tend to blink less frequently, which can affect the distribution of oils across the eye surface. The 20-20-20 rule is often recommended. Every 20 minutes, take a 20-second break and look at something 20 feet away. Some studies suggest that increasing your intake of omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil and flaxseed might help improve the quality of the oil produced by your meibomine glands. However, more research is needed to confirm the effectiveness of dietary interventions. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you ever experienced a chalazion? What treatment worked best for you? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.